A few months ago, a patient of mine walked inside my consultation room, sat across from me, and asked me this very unique question. Dr. Hisham, can you help me live till 120? As a medical doctor practicing longevity, I was not at all surprised by this request. You see, we in Singapore are already living longer. Our life expectancy is amongst the highest in the world. Our lifespan, which is the number of years we live, is over 80 years. However, we spend 10 of those years battling chronic diseases, such as diabetes and heart disease. This means that our health span, which is the number of years we live in good health, is actually just around 70 years. Now, longevity medicine attempts to address the gap between lifespan and health span. We want to make it and reduce it to as little as possible. This goes beyond detecting signs of early disease, such as through health screening. It is about preventing disease from happening altogether. And this is far different from acute medicine, where I spent my early days of my medical career. So, how do you do longevity medicine? For me, it starts with a focus, a focus on you as a patient, on you as a person, your work and home environment, your lifestyle and habits, your family and social circles. These all affect your health. Then I deep dive into your medical history what medications you're on, what supplements you take, and look at your family history of disease risk. Most importantly, I sit down with you and we work out what your concerns regarding your health is, and we focus on that, and also the goals for this longevity journey. The typical consultation lasts for about an hour. Then I look at biomarkers, a wide range of them. These are blood tests. Some of these are more predictive of disease risk. Some of these you may not have heard of before, such as cortisol for stress response, homocysteine and insulin to look at metabolic health risk, apolipoprotein B and lipoprotein A, to look at cardiovascular health risk. Then I look at your body measurements, your percentage body fat, your skeletal muscle mass, your visceral fat index. Based on this initial set of tests, I will then decide together with you whether to deep dive and do other more advanced diagnostics, such as epigenetics, which basically is to look at your lifestyle, how your lifestyle and your environment influences your genetic outcomes. Or carotid intima media thickness ultrasound to look at whether you have early signs of cardiovascular disease. All this mass of information is then gathered and analysed and I come up with a personalized health plan for you based on key pillars. These are to look at stress management, sleep improvement, nutrition and diet, of course, exercise, and targeted supplements. For those with more complex needs, I will perhaps include regenerative medicine or therapies such as red light, 
which helps to improve and restore tissue function. So take uh, one of my other patients as an example. A 45-year-old executive who came to me with pre-diabetes, high cholesterol, and chronic fatigue. He says his life is stressful. He doesn't sleep that well, and he travels a lot. Does it sound familiar? Through a deep dive of his lifestyle, his biomarkers, and his stress triggers, I then come up with a tailored program based on improving his diet, stress management techniques that he can use wherever he is around the world, targeted supplements, and of course, sleep improvement. After a year, he came to me and said that he has never felt more energy and focus than he had, has had in years. And his metabolic biomarkers have also improved. Now, let's go back to the patient who asked to live till 120. It also made me think, one, do I really want to live that long? Two, what would I do with all that time? I thought, yes, I can spend more time with my family. I can watch my kids grow up. Then I thought, perhaps I can pick up my passions, which I left off after entering medical school, playing the saxophone, or pick up new languages, Arabic, Mandarin. Go to Morocco. I've always wanted to do that. Or finish off writing that book I've been procrastinating. I know for a fact that if I had the energy, focus, and health to continue working, I would do so. I'm 53 at the moment. So maybe at 60 or 70, I can go into a new area of medicine. Maybe I can become a surgeon. Maybe I can go back into academia full time. Or go into something completely different, advisory or consulting roles. Recently, I sat down with a group of friends around the same age as me, and ask them this question. We all came up with the same answer and conclusion. If we had the chance to live longer and in good health, it would feel like a reset. We would be able to do all the things that we wanted to do and learn from the, the, the lessons that we've had before and not make the same mistakes. It would be our second chance in life. However, living longer does come with an interesting question. Would I have enough financially to sustain this longer life? If I continued working, and if someone employed me still at 90 years old, that would not be a problem. However, if I retired and spent the rest of the remaining decades not working, I don't think I would have enough saved. My aim is to democratize longevity. I believe that the science and its applications should be made available to everyone, made it affordable and accessible to everyone. It should not be just for the privileged few. This is why my medical practice is experimenting with integrating primary care with longevity principles. To make longevity a reality for all, we need systematic change. 
We need longevity principles to be included in public health programs and supported by insurance and payer schemes. We need governments, communities and organisations to work together to make preventive care and longevity medicine the centre of our healthcare ecosystem. To me, longevity is not about living longer. It is not about adding years to life. But it is about adding life into those years. Can we live till 120? The answer is yes. The real question for all of us is, what would you do with all that time? Thank you.